What's up, people? Man, look how bright that looks. It definitely is not that bright outside. That's an amazing, amazing uh, bright. That looks messed up. Amazing uh, how much that brightens it up because literally it's dark. I mean, <laughs> it's really dark. It's 8.44 and dark. Uh, I wanted to do a uh, pop on with the video about electricity in the Texas energy market. Uh, pricing is a little high right now, uh, naturally, because we're uh, it's 101 at 8:45, which tells you something. It's still hot. Still using that AC. The air is just thick. So supply and demand. The supply is in demand, so the price is able to go up. Uh, it will probably go up a little more as we start rolling into later July and August. You know, we're always 100 degrees and hot here, so just be prepared for it. But I had uh, had one of my customers call me yesterday that said their bill was a little high. They thought it was high since we'd switched companies for them. And I did a little research on it. And her bill was really right where it should be. There's just, there was a unexpected week. That last week, 10 days of June, were horribly hot. Uh, we were 100 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. We were 100 degrees pretty much every day on that last week. It was exceptionally hot. Uh, a lot of the companies I work with were actually not onboarding new customers because their allotment of energy they were worried they were going to need it for their existing customer base so they were pushing enrollments back to july where they had already hedged their power Ooh. made me dizzy when i was coughed so anyway that tells you that june's bill which is just coming out for a lot of people is probably going to be a little higher than you were expected uh the lady that i looked it up for today she was really under where she was last year at this time, even with that hot week. So that's a good, that's a good mark. You know, it took us a while to get warm, but then we got warm and it got stupid uh, for just about a week in June. So it wasn't too bad. But anyway, I just want to let everybody know that there are bills that are coming out right now. Just be prepared. You're probably, uh, in this lady's case, and in most of the bills I've looked at, your bill should almost double between May and June uh, based on the usage I'm seeing because we got hot. May was relatively, it wasn't, wasn't hot, wasn't cool. Uh, it was pretty much leave your ACs off, providing your name is not Yates. <laughs> You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> She'll love that if she sees the bill. She's one of one of my good friends that thinks uh, 71 is hot and 67 is about perfect. So anyway, their bill tends to be a little higher than somebody that keeps it uh, in the 70s. But hey, you know you got to do you got to do you got to do you. And if doing you means it's 67 degrees, well, then it's 67 degrees. Uh, it's about the only place I wear a jacket in July in Texas is at uh, our friend's house. Because they like it cold. But anyway, just want to jump on and let everybody know that I can see you there. I'm actually driving, so I'm more or less looking at the road and not the camera if you wanted to know what I'm doing. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to jump on, let everybody know kind of what's going on. Just want to be prepared with your June electric bill that's just coming out. It may be double what your May bill was. Don't panic. That's going to be about normal based on the weather trends. Uh, most people are pretty similar, other than the one person I mentioned earlier. <laughs> but no, and, and even, even them... Uh, it's not a big deal 
when the weather is not 104 degrees outside that you have your thermostat on 69. 69 when it's 85 degrees outside is not a huge energy draw. It is more than if you were at 79, but when it's only a few degrees cooler than it is outside, it's not a huge energy draw. When that energy is really getting used up is when you're trying to keep it 69, 70, 72 degrees, and it's 105 outside. Most ACs are designed on the principle 20 degrees under the outdoor temperature is about where they work the best. So if it's 100 degrees outside, then 80 is about where it's probably the most comfortable. Now, depending on your home and energy efficiencies and things like that, there's a lot of variables, but let's say I, I, I have a house in South Fort Worth that, that that unit literally will do 20 to 25 degrees under whatever the outside temperature is. So if it's 105 degrees outside, you're going to be doing good to get it down to 80. And that's just kind of how it was designed. When I change the unit out, I may go ahead and beef it up a little bit, see if we can't get a little more out of it, or add some insulation and some energy efficiency uh, upgrades to it. But for the most part, when it was built in the early 80s, 20 to 25 degrees was about the max cool you were going to get out of it, and that was uh, that was good. That's kind of what you look for. So anyway, just want to jump on and have a few minutes to talk while I was driving home on this uh, Thursday evening. Any questions anybody's got, anything, hey, hit it up on the uh, on Facebook. Hit me some messages. I'll uh, answer your questions you may have. Other than that, uh, shoot, let's all just keep cool and keep calm and ride the rest of summer out. Take a vacation, see the ocean, jump in the pool, see some chilling music, before you know it, it's going to be fall, and we're going to wish it was warmer. <laughs> anyway, guys, see ya. Bye-bye.